Hi, Adrian. It's so good to see you. I'm so happy to be here and I'm so honored that you invited me to share my story tonight. I put in the chat that I'm a national marketing director from Massachusetts, hoping that maybe we could see where everybody's from. And I see Pennsylvania, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Maine, Georgia. So just to get the gist of, we're just dialing in with this technology from everywhere. And I have my tower garden behind me because I have it all set up that way. This is actually my celery tower because I love uh, juicing celery, but this just has celery on it. And I'm experimenting. I'm gonna be doing a strawberry tower this summer and I'm bringing this tower. I'm actually in the process of taking it down, juicing, and I will be moving it outside. So uh, first I want to say um, again, thanks so much for having me. The energy, that video is amazing. I saw it. You, Adrian, Sharon on that video, Edie Howland, uh, Dr. Corson. I was just seeing bits and pieces, Tim Blank. So if, if you haven't heard of who created the Tower Garden, his name is Tim Blank. And he um, was the chief horticulturalist at the land exhibit in Epcot. So he handled all of this technology and people would come up to him and say, how can we grow this produce on our own individually? And he left Disney to create this unbelievable state-of-the-art um, tower-to-table technology. So my story is I'm a mom of three awesome kids, I'm married in Massachusetts, um, and I had a corporate career before I came to this company. And I'll share my story. I worked for Fox Sports Net for eight years. I loved what I did. I had a great career. Then I stayed home um, with my kids. And what happened was I had to say goodbye to my income at that point, but I was taking care of my kids and trying to get them to eat fruits and vegetables. And I'm going to just give you a little snippet of what happened in my house. Um, my oldest daughter, my daughter, um, did not get the, at the time, our pediatrician recommended isolated vitamin supplements. And I did not eat vitamins. They didn't sit well with me prenatals. I couldn't even take prenatals when I was pregnant. Um, it would, they would just come back up and I had a lot of nausea and um, couldn't keep food down. So when my pediatrician recommended vitamins for my kids, because we knew they weren't getting the nutrition that they needed on a daily basis, uh, I decided, okay, I'll, I'll take her word for it. And what happened is my middle child overdosed on isolated vitamins. So the vitamins that you grab at the store on the shelf, uh, he overdosed on. And in 2008, over 51,000 calls were made to poison control centers. And some of those were fatalities. And I'm lucky that my child wasn't one of them. But I'd love to even hear from all of you in the chat. Did you know that you could overdose on isolated vitamin supplements? This was recommended by my pediatrician. So what happened was my mind was blown. I started um, doing a lot of research. I understood it after that happened. I'm lucky my son is okay, but you can only absorb iron in trace amounts. Otherwise it's lethal or toxic. So I was uh, absolutely blown away as a mom. And I became one of those, um, I would say just researcher, researching food. Where is our food coming from? What are we putting on our food? Why are we not absorbing it? Why am I giving my kids isolated vitamins to bridge the gap? Um, why aren't they getting enough? And then I started chopping and slicing and trying to get them to eat their raw broccoli three times a day. You're supposed to cover your plate. And it just, it was absolutely daunting to try and get that rainbow. So I came to this when I saw this at my gym, if you can see this, all I saw at the gym was this brochure and I knew I had to have it. I hadn't talked to anybody. I just saw a placemat with fruits, vegetables, and berries on it. I knew it was the answer to my prayers. It's exactly what I was looking for. I immediately turned it around and I saw it said nutrition facts, not supplement facts. There was no child safety lock, no poison control number, no warning label. It was food in a capsule. And this was over 10 years ago. We started adding this to my family's diet, peace of mind as a mom, uh, knowing that we could get this color of the rainbow in their diet every single day. So that's what we started to do. I wasn't looking for anything else. Um, and at the time, 
uh, my family was growing and I wasn't earning income as a stay at home mom. And I didn't want to go back to corporate. My husband was traveling, he'd been traveling for 25 years. So I was kind of holding the fort at home. And I didn't know there was a business attached to this. And at the time, there wasn't a tower garden. And then when the tower garden was introduced, I, again, it just solidified everything. Whole food in a capsule, clean whole food that's been grown ethically, sustainably. We talked a little bit. I heard Adrian mention sustainability with the tower garden. The, our farmers work tires, tirelessly on one crop and they specialize in that crop and they make sure it reaches its nutritional peak. And then they end up taking, harvesting that produce and they crush it whole. So everything's in there. Um, the skins, the seeds, the peels, the cores, all of those are dehydrated into plant powders. And then you can grow your own on the tower garden. And this is just, you pick your produce, which I actually um, took some, this is what I'm gonna be juicing uh, a little bit later. Uh, you pick it and you eat it. So there's no distribution channel with a tower garden. You're not uh, putting food in your fridge. You don't have to worry about recalls. How many people have had something that they're afraid to buy at the store? They just heard there was another recall. Or you bring this produce home that you spent your money on and it goes bad in the fridge or it gets slimy in the bag or you see something in there that doesn't quite look right or it has no smell or it has no taste. And you think, oh, you know, I, I just paid for this produce and it's mealy and it's not nutritious and it doesn't taste like what it's supposed to taste like. Well, now you don't have a distribution channel anymore. You grow what you want. You don't even have to wash it. This is indoor in my home and it's just tower to table. So I'm actually going to show you if I can share the screen. I'm not sure if I can. Adrian, can you see this? So this is another yeah, yeah. Um, passion. Once I started adding this to our diet and I can share with you what this nutrition has done. But I started realizing with my own kids who weren't eating greens, that if I could maybe introduce this to my local community, then I could start getting more kids on a healthier path eating their greens. So this is a fourth grade class years ago, I brought to my, um, my community school. And this was my son's classroom. And so we grew towers in the classroom with the teacher and I'd go in and give presentations. And you can see the image on the bottom there of the kids. When kids grow their own produce, they will eat their own produce. So it was so exciting to see these kids. We had um, one day where they came in and we had lunch where they picked their greens and we did lettuce wraps. So they brought bringing their food and then let, uh, wrap their food with the lettuces. But these kids would come up to me and say, Mrs. LaPlante, I've never eaten anything green before. Or a parent would come up to me and say, um, my child's never had kale and now they know what bok choy is. Some kids came to me and said, Mrs. LaPlante, I didn't know lettuce had a smell. And I was blown away. I didn't know lettuce had a smell either until I had a tower garden. I was picking off basil and I could smell it from the other room and I could smell it on my fingers. And what does it mean when our produce smells and we have this strong scent? It means that it's at its nutritionist, nutritional peak and it's full of ripe whole food nutrition. So once I had one in my school there, then I started to talk a little bit more in the rest of the community. This is another school uh, in my neighboring town where we, um, there's about 11 towers now between the kindergarten all the way up through high school. So these kids are growing their own greens and they're cutting their produce and taking it to the cafeteria. This is uh, my tower garden in New England. If you look outside the window, you can see that there was a snowstorm and a blizzard and I was growing my own greens inside. And then this is the tower when I bring it outside. So I'm growing my tomatoes, my cucumbers, my shard, my kale, all of the things. I love to put my greens in smoothies and now I don't have to go to the store and buy them. So again, this is why I came to this. Um, my son overdosed on isolated vitamin supplements and I saw this placemat at my gym and knew that I had to have this nutrition in my family. And then the tower garden just reintroduced it. It just uh, absolutely blew my mind that I was able to get this food, whole food nutrition from 30 plants. And then we have a vegan omega. And then also knowing it's NSF certified, if you're an athlete, if your kids have any dreams about uh, playing in high school or going beyond that into college and beyond, you want to make sure there are no banned substances in anything they put in their body. So for me, when I looked at it, it was food, not a multivitamin. It was NSF certified, which means it was 
third party tested that it was clean and safe um, for a six month old baby all the way through an elderly in a feeding tube and the most researched uh, nutritional brand in the world. But the Tower Garden was just an extension of what that was, that produce, that uh, rainbow of color. And then I can actually go ahead and grow all of the different varieties of plants that I want on my Tower Garden and um, have that additional produce and health for my body. 98% um, less water when we talk about sustainability. Half acre of tower gardens equates to 30 acres of land and produce. How incredible is that? So, you know, we're only, we only have one earth, right? One, we're not getting another one. Um, and we're not gonna be getting more water and more land. So once we take up that space, what do we have for future generations? Now we're taking the space up vertically and we can not even have to worry about our soil content or the quality, how much soil that we even have, because this doesn't even use soil. So we're able to take up space. It has 30% more yield. It grows three times faster. It's safe and nutritious, and it's just the state of the art. So I'm gonna stop the share here and just um, close out now and just say, you know, I went into this peace of mind as a mom and I didn't know there was a business attached to it. And I remember asking um, someone that I had asked about this and started adding this to my diet. Is there any way I could earn some income to cover costs for my family? And what I was blown away because when I worked at corporate, I worked to get to a certain level. And that's as far as I could get. You know, there's only a certain level there and there's a ceiling. And I got, I got worked my way up and then that's where I was. So in order to go back to that, I wanted to have more opportunity. I wanted to coach my kids. I wanted to be in the classroom with them. I wanted to get them to all their practices and help support them in the home as my husband traveled. But I also wanted to cover costs and earn additional income to be able to provide additional income for my family, which I was able to do both of those things. So this business has allowed me choices and opportunity. It's allowed me to be the best mom I can be. And I'm, I'm a health coach now, um, and I'm so passionate, so passionate about getting clean whole food into humans that we deserve. We all deserve to have the color of the rainbow, clean and safe. And I love the fact that this company and this community cares about the earth for future generations so that our kids will learn where their food comes from, how it's grown, they'll learn how to grow, and they'll also have those tools to be able to heal themselves and their families when I'm no longer here. So thank you for listening to my story tonight. I love the vibe of this call, everybody. So good to see you on a Saturday night. Thank you for having me, Adrian.